Today you're going to learn how to make conversions within the metric system and the story of King Henry and his love for chocolate milk is going to help you remember how to do it. Once upon a time in a faraway land there lived a king who loved chocolate milk. His name was King Henry. Throughout his kingdom King Henry made sure that all of the cows were fed great supplies of chocolate to continue to provide him with his beloved chocolate milk drink. King Henry drank chocolate milk with his breakfast. He drank chocolate milk with his lunch. He drank chocolate milk with his dinner. He even drank chocolate milk for his bedtime snack. King Henry drank chocolate milk by the leaders. King Henry wanted all living creatures in his kingdom to enjoy chocolate milk as much as he enjoyed chocolate milk. However, a liter was not the best serving size for every creature. The royal carpenter was called for, and the command was given for new serving vessels to be created to fit every creature in the kingdom. A vessel is anything that carries something else. For the creatures smaller than the king, the royal carpenter designed deciliters that were one-tenth the size of a liter, centiliters that were one-hundredth the size of a liter, and milliliters that were one thousandth the size of a liter. The milliliters were just right for the royal beetles and the bugs of the kingdom. For the creatures greater than the king, the royal carpenter designed decaliters that were ten times larger than the size of a liter, hecaliters that were one hundred times larger than the size of a liter, and kiloliters that were one thousand times larger than the size of a liter. The kiloliters were just right for the royal giants of the kingdom. The royal carpenter lined the vessels up in his workroom from the largest to smallest to show the king. The king's vessel was in the center of the line, for the king was the center of the kingdom. The vessels were arranged in the following order. Kiloliter, hecaliter, decaliter, liter, deciliter, centiliter, millimeter. Now, liter is what the king liked to drink his chocolate milk from. So this is going to be our base. Anything to the right of it is smaller. Anything to the left is larger. So if you look to the right of the liter, deci means 10. If we take a liter and cut it into 10 parts. Each one of those parts would be a deciliter, one-tenth of a liter. Centi means a hundred. So it would take a hundred of these to make one liter. Milli means a thousand. It would take one thousand milliliters to equal one liter. That's going to the right it gets smaller and smaller pieces. If you go to the left on our line here, it gets larger. So deca means 10 times larger than our liter. So it would take 10 liters to equal one decaliter. Hecto means 100. It would take 100 liters to equal a hectoliter. Kilo means 1,000. It would take 1,000 liters to equal one kiloliter. King Henry loved the new vessels that were designed larger and smaller than his own for all the living creatures in his kingdom. The royal carpenter explained that the sizes increased and decreased from the king's leader, the original unit of measurement, by multiples of 10. He explained how to convert between the sizes by di multiplying by 10 or dividing by 10. King Henry wondered how he would ever remember the order of the vessels. The royal carpenter said he remembered them by thinking of a saying. He said, I remember the order by saying, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And then I have no problem remembering the order. That is exactly right, said King Henry. Now I shall remember the sizes of the vessels. He took another big drink of chocolate milk and died. 
So one of the things that King Henry left us was a way to help us convert along the metric system by using this mnemonic. And a mnemonic is anything that helps you remember. So here's how we can remember it. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. The K in King is for Kilo, H in Henry for Hecto, D and died for Deca, B for the base. Now the base unit is either going to be the meter, liter, or gram. The D in drinking is deci, the C in chocolate is centi, and the M in milk is milli. So kilo is a thousand times the base, hecto is a hundred more than the base, and deca is ten more than the base. So if I have a meter stick and I line up ten of those meter sticks, I have a decameter. If I take one hundred meter sticks and line them up, that would be a hectometer. If I took that meter stick and lined up a thousand of them side by side, then I would have a kilometer. Then if I took that meter stick and I cut it into 10 pieces, each one of those pieces would be a decimeter. If I took that meter stick and cut it into 100 pieces, each one of those pieces would be a centimeter. And if I took that meter stick and cut it into 1,000 pieces, each one of those little tiny pieces would be a millimeter. Another way to help you remember it is to use a staircase. We put the very largest at the top of the staircase and the smallest on the bottom. So kilo, or a thousand times the base, goes at the top. Milli, which is one thousandth of the base, goes on the bottom. Now, as we move from smaller to larger, if you want to convert it, you divide by 10 for each step that you move. If you want to convert from larger to smaller, then you're going to multiply by 10 for each step that you go down. Or, I think it's easier if we just move the decimal point. So let's do a couple examples. <coughs> Right here we have one kilometer and we want to convert it into meters. So if we go up to kilometer and I've got to get down to meters. Remember meter is my base unit. So I'm going to hop one, two, three times down the stairs. And down is to the right. So I'm going to start at my one here, and I'm going to move three times to the right. One, two, three, and I get a thousand meters. Here what they did is when you go down, you multiply by ten for how many places you go. So here you went one, two, three times, so you have one kilometer times three of those tens, and that gives you a thousand meters. I think this way is easier, but you can use either way that's easiest for you. Okay, let's do a problem together. Here we have 56 centimeters and we want millimeters. So go to your staircase and find centimeter, here's centimeter, and then millimeter, here's millimeter. So what we're going to do is jump down one and remember when we go down it's like moving to the right so we're going to move our decimal place one place to the right and remember when there's no decimal point we assume that it's right after it so if we have 56 we're going to assume our decimal point is right after it we're going to move it one place to the right and fill in a zero so our answer would be 
560 millimeters. Okay, in this example, we have 7.25 liters. Now remember, liter is one of our base units, and we want kiloliters. So we're going to go up here to kiloliters. So start at your base lead unit, which was liters, and we go one, two, three. Now this time we went up, so we're moving to the left. So I have set seven point two five and we want to go three places to the left one two three put our decimal point and I'm going to fill in the two blanks with zeros so our answer is going to be point zero zero seven two five kiloliters okay so now it's your turn I want you to try and work this first problem up here. You can go to EduCreations and use that whiteboard or just use a scratch piece of paper. Stop the video, see what answer you get, then turn it back on and we'll do them together. And you can see if you're getting it or if you need to go back and listen to it again, the parts, or if you need to go to another video on YouTube that tries to explain it until you understand it. Okay, so let's work this out. Here you've got 45,000 grams, and we want to convert it into milligrams. So remember, gram is a base. We're going to go to our base. There's gram, and milligram is down here. So we're going to count one, two, three, and we went down the stairs or to the right. So I'm going to move my decimal three places to the right. Here's my 45,000. Remember, if there's no decimal point, we assume it's right here. And I'm going to go one, two, three. Put my decimal point. I'm going to take each one of these and fill them in with a zero. So my answer would be. And always make sure that you put the unit afterwards. Okay? So I have 45 million milligrams. Okay, now go work the next problem and stop the video. Go work the next problem. Come back and see if you did it right. Okay, so in this problem we have 5 centimeters and we're going to turn it into kilometers. So let's find centimeter which is right here and kilometer which is way up here. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. This time we went up the staircase so five times to the left is what we're going to do. Okay? So we're starting with five centimeters. Remember we're going to say our decimal points right after it if it's not there. We need to go five places to the left. One, two, three, four, five, and put your decimal point. We're going to fill in with zeros. So your answer is going to be point zero, 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 five, and always put the unit kilometers. Okay, these next problems are the ones that I would like you to do as you do now when you come into class tomorrow. It, these are the problems you're going to have to work out. You can do them ahead of time if you'd like to, so you can do another activity, or you can do them when you come to class tomorrow, and especially if you're not understanding it, then you can get some help from me. But if you're really not getting it, you might want to go back and watch the video again. And if you're still not understanding, I'll get with you tomorrow and make sure that you are. Have a good night.